Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, my beautiful Aries. How y'all doing? I love you guys. Happy Thursday. I love you guys. How y'all feeling? <laughs> How you doing? Thank you all for hanging out with me on my Wednesday Night Live. Hello, new viewers, cross watchers. I love you guys. Let's get started. Let's see what's in your energy, Aries, okay? Yes, I'm going to pull from my angel numbers, and then we're going to see what Spirit Guys got for you, okay? See what the angels is saying, all right? Spirit Guys, God, give me clarity to understand it. This is for Aries. Oh, I love you, too. I'm glad you enjoyed the live. Thank you so much for coming out. All right, let's get it. Okay, that's a whole book. All right, a Aries, you've been waiting on me, honey. You've been waiting on me. Spirit Guys, angels, what is the message you have for Aries? Angel numbers. This is your angel number, okay? Thank you. So it's 4,400 that came out in your angel number, Aries. 4,400. And it says the, um, I can't read that font. Go forward, be kind, protect, and continue to be prosperous. Okay, see how the font is? I can't read this mess. Okay, y'all young people with them young eyes or y'all y'all people with them good old eyes, whoever young, old, it don't matter. My eyes ain't like that. I can't read that, y'all. And so it says, God and the angels want you to know, Aries, that you are completely loved. They ask you to spend more time feeling this love because it will answer many of your questions and solve any challenges. So... Maybe some of you don't feel love like you should feel love from somebody, from a situation, from family, from friends. I feel like you don't feel the love that you give. You don't feel that you're getting the love back. And God wants you to know that you are in debt. I mean, in fact, loved. God loves you. OK, the angels loves you. All right. So I feel like you're in some of you could be in this energy. Remember, everybody, take what resonates. This may not resonate with everybody, okay? <clears throat> Reverse the roles how they fit in your life, all right? I don't know y'all's life. I'm just merely tapping into your life, okay? So your angels is saying that you are loved. The angels and God want you to know that you are loved, okay? They ask you to spend more time feeling this love. They want you to spend more time with yourself, loving yourself, feeling yourself, feeling the love of yourself, okay? Knowing that you are worthy even if somebody doesn't show you, you still love yourself unconditionally anyway, okay? Tell me more from the angels. Thank you. 11.55, Aries, 11.55, spirit, it's, I mean, beautiful souls, okay? It says change, confidence, and clarity. That's right. Change, confidence, and self-reflection. So this is the angels want you to do some self-reflection. Some of you may be going through some self-reflection. See, some of these fonts I can read, but some of them I can't read, okay? And it's a change, your confidence, bringing your confidence back up. You know, start loving yourself, believing in yourself, pouring into yourself, okay? Uh, I mean, some of you, like I said, everybody's on different timelines. Some of you already been through a self-reflection. Some of you going through this right now as I'm doing this reading. Some of you, this is coming up in your near future that the angels want you to self-reflect on yourself and start pouring into yourself and loving you because people going to treat you how you treat you. Love yourself unconditionally. You are your own best friend. Remember that. You are. And it says your thoughts create changes in your life, okay? Keep directing your thoughts towards what you want, Aries. If you see that the change it, that if you see that the coming change is not what you want, you can stop or change it by correcting your thoughts. So you remember your mind, you, your mind, your thoughts control your reality. OK, if you don't like a, a situation, if you don't like who you are, if you don't like uh, 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 that, you don't have the confidence that you want to have your thoughts, you can change that. You can you you can rearrange that in your life and start pouring into yourself and loving yourself even more. I feel like this is definitely a reflection of yourself. OK, about love, about loving you, about pouring into you, about making sure that your value, that people respects who you are, that relationships respects your value okay but it first must come 
from a place of loving yourself, okay? Uh, and that's what spirit guides want you to do, that confidence, that love. 4455 came out on my hand, 4455, a major change, help, guardianship, prosperity, and abundance. So you're definitely going through a major change. You're going through... I feel like some of you could be doing, be going through a shadow work, you know, looking in the mirror, accepting who you are, looking in the mirror, accepting the things that you cannot change, but change the things that you can change and the wisdom to know the difference, the serenity prayer. I feel like a lot of you could be doing some shadow work, middle mirror work, okay, about yourself, okay, <clears throat> and um, finding love within you and, and, and not have to, and not look for validation through uh, on the outside through other people, but finding validation within yourself. And it says, right now your angels are working on assisting you with the one major life change. And I feel like this is the angels is working, helping you to uh, work on yourself, realizing that there's some things that we can't change in our life. There's some things we can't change about ourselves, but the things that we can change, that's what we need to concentrate on. Knowing the, you know, the mindset of the, the wisdom, knowing the difference now between the two. And that's working on yourself and pouring into yourself and loving yourself and realize that you don't have to have validation. Don't seek a validation outwards. You seek validation within yourself, okay? That's what validation comes from in yourself. Don't look for nobody. You know, some people look for people to validate them, to like them, to want them, to be with them, to this or that. When you find that validation in yourself, you don't seek it. It's like you either like me or you don't like me. You either want me or you don't want me. And I'm good with it. I'm good with it because I know I am the best that I am, you know. So you don't seek validation. You don't seek for somebody to love you. You okay being by yourself. You okay spending time by yourself you okay sitting alone you okay with pouring into you you know when you get to that energy when you get to that level of a self-reflection about yourself is that i validate my own self i clap for my own self you know i don't need bob sue jane paul to clap for me i know i'm doing a good job i don't need your uh, approval for what I, who I am, you know, that's when you looking at the self-reflection of who you are loving you. Even if you have poured out love and nobody gave it to you, that's because you poured out love to the wrong person, but it doesn't mean that you're not coming from a paid place of love. It's just that you end up loving, loving, giving too much of the love to the wrong person. So, <clears throat> so, uh, the bottom of the deck is forty-four ninety-nine. At the bottom of the deck, and it says, "Face the difficulties." Okay, transformation, new beginning, strength, strength, clarity. Okay, and it says the angels say to you that it is time to release any situation that has ended. I feel like you could be with somebody, around family, with some or whatever job, whatever the situation. Okay, reverse the roles, everybody. That does not appreciate you, doesn't show you the love that you show, that you pour into. And it's time to release any situation that, and it's time for it to come to an end. They remind you, the angels remind you that when you, when one door closes, another door is open. The angels will indeed help you open new doors and heal the pain that accompanies the changes you are experiencing now. Please ask your angels to assist you in having confidence, getting that confidence back, loving yourself, getting that confidence back, knowing that these endings and beginnings are response to your prayers, okay? So please ask your angels for assistance on confidence and believing in yourself and moving on and knowing that you are deserving to be happy, okay? Now, like I said before, this may not resonate with everybody, but this is sure going to resonate to a lot of us because when it comes down to loving ourselves, when it comes down to that self-reflection of who we are, we all have room for error there, okay? We all can improve on that because if you don't heal from that, you're going you're gonna to definitely run into a narcissist. You're going to definitely run into a selfish person. You're going to definitely run into somebody that's not going to appreciate who you are and you're going to be pouring more love out than you get love back in, okay? So that's the bottom of your deck. And that behind this $44.99 is $9.99, okay? Yeah. Spirit, you want me to take this? Creation, new life, change, and powerful, okay? It says completion. 
some of you have completed. That's 999, okay? That's your angel number that was behind the 4499. And it says completion. In your personal and global life, this is a major stage coming to an end. At, this, at the same time, this is also a message for light workers related to healing the earth. It's time to work because Mother Earth needs you now. So some of you could be very spiritual I'm talking to, okay? Some of you, spirit guides are saying this can, This is going to be for a, a very small percentage. The spirit guide said, we, you got work to do. I need you to get into the field and start to help help, help heal people. That's for a very small, small uh uh, of you, okay? It's light workers, spiritual workers, it's time to work because Mother Earth needs you now, okay? So let's get into it. Let's see what it is, what's going on um, that you need to pour more love into yourself and start loving yourself, start getting that confidence back, okay? A lot of you have, a lot of you gain a lot of clarity so that you can go through your, go towards your abundance. Also see new beginnings, your strength. I feel like a lot of you have gained your strength back, your courage back. You pour it into yourself. You're doing good. Okay. Some of you could have felt trapped uh, in a situation. Okay. Some of you may be still feeling trapped in a situation. This could be a marriage. This could be a situation. This could be a job. This could be whatever it relates to you or correlates in your life. Yeah, you got tension here. <clears throat> you got tension um stressed out migraines okay this other card is upside down it's like you haven't took the time out for yourself you haven't you you stressed out okay and this card came in reverse meaning you're not even taking the time to smell the roses okay slow down takes you take your time get out in nature and it comes out it came out in the reverse that's how the cards fell out so you definitely have not spent, have not been doing any work on yourself. Um, I feel like you haven't, you know, you're stressed out about this situation. Um, and you're stressed out because this person energy, okay. Excuse me, Aries. It's early, early in the morning. Okay. This person's energy, this person that, you know, you're with, um, a lot of worry, a lot of migraines, stressed out. You're trapped. Some of you could feel trapped. Tell me more about this energy spirit for Aries. Tell me more. Let's see what else is here, Aries. Yeah, you made a bad choice. You made a bad choice and you're paying. It's like, and the choice is because you didn't see the mixed signals from this person. The choice is that you didn't have the confidence i feel like a lot of you was operating from a low vibration and you made this bad choice some of you are in this right now where this has stressed you out this situation has stressed you out okay because of so many um games and mixed signals going on here in this energy tell me more spirit uh legal i feel like some of you going through some type of legal battle okay some of some of your paperwork so, you know, you, you're going through a lot. Uh, could be something to do with lawyers, court, paperwork. Uh, could be uh, you're just going through a lot. Maybe you gave, uh, you took out restraining order on somebody. Um, it, this is all hitting you as well. Sipping rumors, gossip. Uh, yeah, this is from somebody that has been, you know, that's nosy. You got somebody nosy in your energy, two-faced in your energy. I feel like somebody betrayed you, okay? Somebody betrayed you, cheated, backstabbed you, and uh, you're going you're going through some legal things. And and this person is definitely sitting, talking, and gossiping. Uh, somebody was two-faced and betrayed you, okay? Like I say, it could be a partner. It could be somebody stabbed you in the back. It could be somebody that cheated on you, okay? You know, played in your face. You, and you, some of you could be going through a divorce, going through a separation. Um, also feel the energy that some of you are in the energy, good vibes, good vibes only. I feel like some of you are living in the moment, okay? You're trying to, you're trying to bring your energy up. Tell me more spirit about this. Yeah. I feel like you're very, some of you are very depressed. You know, you be, you, I mean, when you're betrayed, how can you not? Yeah, some of you are going through a lot right now. 
A lot of energy, a lot of dark energy. A lot of dark in iso isolation, yeah, isolation, happiness, joy. So, now if this ain't you, Aries, this is somebody going through a lot. This is somebody going through a lot. Because isolation came and the laughter came out. So, Aries, if this is not you going through this, this is somebody you was dealing with. That was two-faced and betrayed you. They are going through big time karma. If this is not you stressed out migraine. Uh, going, this person going through some legal stuff. This person is self-inflicting, drinking. This person is going through chaos. Somebody that, that did you dirty. Thank you, spirit guys. That's what it is. And the only reason why it changed this whole trajectory of your reading is because the laughter came out. That's the only reason why, and today came out. That's the only reason why this whole reading changed. It shifted. It shifted. So whoever that was two-faced, gossiping about you, talking about you, stabbed you in your back. Okay, cheated, whatever this is. Woo, baby, they going through some legal stuff. I mean, all hell is hitting this person, whoever this is. When I tell you isolation, legal, look at that. Look at that chaos going on in their life. They are really, oh my God, they really going through it. Somebody going through it on what they done to you. And see, you are in the energy of living in the now, okay? You in the energy of living in the now, happy, healing, joy. You're learning, you're getting your joy back. You're happy. You don't cut your hair. Your hair look different. Your weight don't come up. Your smile is different. You're starting to love yourself. Like I said, at one point, you didn't love yourself because you poured so much into this person. You love yourself. You're dressing better. You're looking better. You're living in the moments. You got good vibes. Some of you could have just, you know, you had, I feel like you're living in the moment. You, you had a good birthday whenever your birthday was. You enjoyed your birthday. Uh, but uh, you made a wish on your birthday. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Aries. This person is drinking, is alone, self-inflicted. Uh, yeah. They sh whoever this was shouldn't have never betrayed you. Whoever this was shouldn't have never backstabbed you, cheated on you. Now this person, look at this. This is somebody that sipped and gossiped and talked mere shit about you. Mere mess about you. Karmic. Look at that. Bottom of the deck. Karmic. This is a third party. This person had you. This could have been, like I say, if this wasn't nobody that you was dealing with, this could have been a hater. This could have been a friend, family. This could have been a third. Somebody had you in a third party situation. This could be a hater. Whoever it is, they definitely are going through some. When I tell you, baby. Baby, I can't make this up. Woo, when I told you earlier, a lot of dark energy, a lot of dark energy. This person going through a lot of dark energy. Oh, they, they, oh yeah, karma, baby. That's what it is. That's what it is. This is a karmic. Karmic can be anybody, karmic. This is a lesson learned. This is a lesson learned. Lesson learned. You are you are settled now. You're secure. You feel good. You you're coming up. This is you. You're secure. You're stable now. At one point in time, you wasn't stable. You didn't love yourself. You poured so much into this person, into this situation, and they backstabbed you. Okay, they cheated. Double life. This could have been somebody lived a double life. It was you and somebody else. Third party situation. Any other energy, toxic, drama. 
Then somebody calls a narcissist. Oh my God. What? Shut the front door. Oh my goodness. Y'all gotta be kidding me. Oh, whoever this is, a narcissist that caused a lot of drama in your life, that caused your made your life a living hell. 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 Baby, they going, he or she is going through their karma. This two-faced it, you know what, you know what, 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 with a what, 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 and a what, what, what. Karma. Let's see what else. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit guys, talk to me. Tell me more. Oh, my God, baby. Keep smiling. Keep smiling, Aries. Keep smiling. Keep shining, baby. You established. You got a lot going for yourself. Some of you done got a new car. You done, you, you, you done leveled up in life, baby. You're living in the moments. Good vibes, honey. Because over here with all this energy over here. Woo! Baby, they they messed around and they 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 done the wrong person wrong, baby. This person done the wrong person wrong. Talk to me, spirit. Knight of Swords. Yeah, they done been delayed and came out in the reverse. Somebody tried to get it come towards you, but they couldn't. They've been delayed. Either the card, you not Knight of Swords. They was rushing back to you. Well, I tell you what. That car that broke down or, or something happened that they couldn't come to you. They, they was mad. They was coming after you. He or she was on their way to you, but the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Oh, baby, they've been stopped. I feel like God, the angel, spirit, God stopped this person. They was on their way to you. The chariot. Yeah. The chariot. They were on. They, they've been delayed. They was on their way to you. See, you done moved on. Thank you, spirit. High priestess. They dealt with a high priestess. Oh my God. Oh, wee. The sun at the bottom of the deck. They dealt with a spiritual chosen one. That's why karma is, I mean, hitting their head to the white me. Oh my God. They mess with a high priestess. Whoever you are, you're very spiritual gifted. Very spiritual gifted. And they, they done this to a high priestess. Ooh -wee. That's why this dark energy. That's why this dark energy is here that they are going through it. Baby. Honey. Because they, de they messed around and after round and after round and mess with with a, a, a chosen one now you got all your cups coming true all your wishes being granted and this person over here was very immature very immature okay death oh yeah yeah death they going through it and that chapter is closed congratulations aries Oh my goodness, moon card. Oh yeah, look at you. Queen of Wands, sitting looking pretty on your throne, baby. On your throne. This person, death, they going through hell. Yep, they going through carp dark night of the soul. Oh yeah, under the moon. When I tell you, they life. They could have also experienced near death as well. They could have almost, uh, Spirit Guys is telling me, car accident. Oh, they going through it. I, I'm just, I'm just relaying the message. Whoever this was that treated you, talked gossip about you, talked about you, uh, spread rumors about you, was being nosy. It's a, it's a difference with being nosy and there's a difference with being nosy. Being nosy is like, oh, what was that? What happened out there? And then going back in your house. Being nosy is trying to watch everything you're doing and trying to and trying to watch your every move and steps. And uh, yeah, oh my goodness, death, ending. 
new beginnings over here, baby. Look here, you got the death over here and you got the world over here. That chapter is closed. Yep. Queen of Swords, you got tired of the BS, the nonsense, the drama, the fighting, the argument, the everything. The everything, and you walked away. Look at that. You walked away. You got tired of it and walked away because your cups wasn't being fulfilled, and you learned how to love yourself. You had to do some... Um, self-reflection on yourself and you had to learn how to love you within yourself because the way this person treated you this was a narcissist this was a karmic this was somebody didn't care how they done you and they didn't know that they was messing with a high priestess they didn't know that they was messing with a high priestess all oh, the web that you spin the web that you spin is the web that is going to take you in <laughs> the web that this person throwed out for you is now they're trapped in their own web that part tell me more spirit mm, page of swords my god my god my god the magician in the reverse wow this was a very manipulative person. Very manipulative person. King of Wands in the reverse. This was not a leader. This is somebody that juggled you. And this is somebody, the Queen of Swords, you, you, you went cold on this person. This is somebody that you have not been with in years. This is somebody that you have not talked to in a long time. And finally, karma is hitting them right now. Finally, the karma got them. They could be they could be in jail with this legal. They could be in jail now. And you over here shining like a diamond. You over here shining like a diamond. See, the lies and everything caught up to them. This is somebody you ain't talked to in a while. It could be friend, family. Could be anybody. Okay, y'all apply it in your life how it's supposed to fit in your life. But this is Queen of Swords in the reverse. It's a cold, cold calculated. Yeah, you are in your, look at here. You're in your Queen of Pentacles and they are in their King of Pentacles in the reverse. Broke, disgusted. You're happy. You're happy you left them out in the cold. A lot of you got a divorce. Congratulations. You learned to pour into yourself. Now you can breathe, okay? Now you can breathe. Now you can breathe. Yeah, this person will this person mess around and, and you whoever you are is a high priestess. Oh my god. Emperor in reverse. This person is losing their mind. Okay. This person not in control of their life or anything. This person over here, baby. Whoo! They're going through their coma. I don't even want to touch the cards. There's so much dark energy over here. I don't even want to touch the cards. I don't want to touch the cards. You over here living your best life now. Living, this is your energy. You over here living your best life. You established now. You got a lot going for you now. And like I said, this is somebody, it's been a long time ago. This is somebody you was you was friends with a long time ago. You dealt with a long time ago. You over here in your energy living in today. You uh you move you have moved forward in your life. You're happy with the sun card. You are high priestess. You have you have really at when you were dealing with this person, you was operating from a low vibration. You didn't know your strength, you didn't know your power. But now you're a high priestess, you tapped into yourself. You're very spiritual now. Uh your wish is granted with the nine nine of cups here. Not only that, the word you completed that cycle, but that was a hard cycle to complete. And not only that, you're the queen of wands, you standing on your throne. You don't you don't chase, you attract. You attracted so much towards you with the Queen of Swords. You ain't got time for BS. You walked away from somebody that your cups was not being filled. But baby, you are grounded, stable more than you have ever been. And not only that, look at you, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you got a lot, have come into a lot of money. You walked away from this person. And ever since you walked away from this person, look at here, ever since you walked away from this person. You have been happy. Some of you are in a new relationship. You don't got remarried. If you ain't remarried, you could be engaged or you just with somebody you're happy with now. You, yeah, you got a divorce. Okay, you're not with this person. You learn to work on yourself. And finally, you can let your guard down because now you finally feel free. You finally feel 
tapped into yourself and learn how to have confidence in yourself. But this person took you, put, took you on a roller coaster ride. This person took you on a roller coaster ride. And I feel like with this self-inflection, self-reflection 1155 that I showed you, I feel like you had to reprogram your way of thinking, your thoughts. That's what got you out of this situation and learning to have that confidence and love yourself and leave and leave in spite of. And that's where the change came in. And that's where your prosperity and your abundance started flowing in your life. But this was a hard chapter to learn. But to let you know that this person is definitely, in fact, either has went to jail, going through some legal stuff. They uh, betrayed you, toxic. They are isolated, inflicted, okay? They definitely going through a disaster, okay? They could be, you know, facing some legal charges, some legal things that are happening to them. But you finally decided, you finally decided, Aries, to love who you are. And you finally decided that you gave the wrong love, you gave the right love to the wrong person. I'm positive thoughts and energy in my readings. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in my, my readings. You just have to be vigilant and listen to the message. Until next time, my beautiful souls.